If you look at the 31st verse of Exodus chapter 16, we get a description. It says, it was like coriander seed, white, and its taste was like wafers with honey. Now, I don't know about you, but I like wafers with honey in the form of like donuts. But I truly think that in today's world, we have a very close representation or maybe even cousin to the manna that fell. I have a little something for you to show kind of visibly. You guys can see honey buns. You know, it, it came from something white. It was, it was like coriander seed wine, and it tasted like wafers with honey. Honey buns, right? <laughs> well, the Bible gives a description about how much each person was to gather or how much was to be gathered for each household according to how many people lived in that home. And when I see a, when I see a, a measurement in the Bible... I'm always curious, how much is that? Some of the newer translations do not say or Omer. They say it's about two quarts. Oh, when I, I think of quarts, I, I think of drinking tea. Because you only drink tea out of quart jars, right? I mean, that, that's what we do in the South. I think, golly, would that fill me up? Would that satisfy my hunger? Well, a Omer, being about two quarts... I, I've got a little experiment. Now, this is a good, good amount of honey buns. This is like three boxes, and this is one quart. An omer is two quarts. So, all right, there's the first part of breakfast. Here's the second part of breakfast. And I'm still hungry. My coffee's not all gone yet. And as long as I got coffee, I'm going to eat some honey buns. Youth, are y'all keeping count? One, two, three, four, five honey buns. Here's six. Here's seven. Now remember, the coriander seed stuff was mostly like flour. Here's eight. We're getting to a good number. Nine. <laughs> ten. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> twelve. 13. Oh, I'm going to need some help. All right, I, need, I got some encouragement. 14, we, we can't stop. 15. 16. 17. I'm running out of strength. I'm going to have to eat one. And there's 18. All right. There's... <laughs> That's the way I fill my plate. <laughs> but I, I want you to check it out. I don't want to open up another three boxes to put in another quart. An omer is two quarts. And that's for every person in the house. Now, now, if we were living back in ancient Israel, in the wilderness wanderings, you should feel sorry for Christy. Because she would have to gather ten quarts of manna just to feed us for one day. Now, the secret is, everybody in the house would be satisfied. Those who, well, maybe it was too much for, like Riley, who's in our house. Well, Daddy could finish off Riley's portion. <laughs> It's kind of like when Christy and Jason go to Texas Roadhouse. She gets a big steak no matter if she wants it or not. <laughs> but everyone was well provided for. You see, this is a picture of how God provides. He doesn't provide sparingly. He provides abundantly. You remember well from the 23rd Psalm. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. 
Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. You see, when we're praying this prayer, give us this day our daily bread, it's not all about the bread. It's about everything that the Lord knows that we need. Sometimes our hearts are empty, but our stomach is full. The Lord knows what we need. Sometimes we are at our wit's end, and we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to become of us, but we know that the Lord is infinite in knowledge. And so we say, Lord, we trust in you because we can't see our way out of this darkness. We can't see the way out of this maze. We don't know what's going to happen, but we know that you are rich in knowledge, God. And we depend on you today. We depended on you yesterday, and you showed yourself faithful. And we're going to depend on you tomorrow and every day that you give us. Whether it's our stomachs that we're worried about, whether it's our hearts and our emotions that are broken and shattered, or where, whether it's our minds that can't figure things out, Lord, we know that you have all the answers. And we know that you don't give sparingly, you give abundantly. Lord, provide for us. Give us all that you have in mind. And Lord, we will be satisfied. Satisfied.